I've been revising some of my recipes and updating them a wee bit and uh, sometimes making a totally wee tweak here or there. So today I've made a wheaten loaf and I've used uh, a two pound loaf tin that I have greased and then dusted with some wheaten flour or coarse wholemeal flour. If you haven't got a loaf tin, you can actually use an eight inch sandwich tin. It just makes it rounder, but it's just act, it turns out quite nice in sandwich tin as well. So this is the recipe. So we have 250 grams of coarse wholemeal flour, 170 grams of plain flour, and 80 grams of porridge oats, 50 grams of sugar, any sugar will do, a pinch of salt, one and a half good heaped teaspoonfuls of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, teaspoonful of sunflower oil, which is optional, but I found that it makes a nice soft loaf, and approximately 350 mils of buttermilk. So here we have the ingredients that I've used today. So I use this one, a coarse wholemeal flour. I've used plain flour. I've used bicarbonate of soda. I've used sunflower oil and porridge oats. Now I, you can, I've these in the house, but I also have this cheaper uh, Tesco's own Scottish oats. And for this bag, it was about 60p or something. But I keep that just for making bread with. These here are a lot dear. It's up to yourself, whichever one you use. Of course, your buttermilk and some salt and the two pound loaf tin. So this is, I've cut it in half just to show you what it's like inside. So it's lovely and coarse wholemeal. And there's a the slice. And I can tell you it's lovely with anything, especially cheese or jam. So down to the method. Very simple. Put all the dry ingredients together in a bowl and mix them up well together and then make a well in the centre. So that's all my dry ingredients in and just mix them up so that they're all well combined. So I've measured out the 350 mils of uh, buttermilk and I've added the oil actually to it. So I'm making a well in the, a well in the centre and I'm going to add most of the milk. Or the buttermilk I should say. And then I'm going to keep stirring it until it's well and mixing it well together. Until it's really well combined. So as you can see it's still pretty dry. So it's going to take all of the rest of the milk. So just keep mixing and mixing and mixing until you're well, well mixed together. So that's taken a couple of minutes and as you can see, it's a really, it's, it's a wet but a stiff dough. So now I'm going to tip it out on to a floured work surface and just, just use some of the coarse homemade flour. So I've tipped it out, comes out of the bowl pretty clean. I sprinkle some more uh, wholemeal flour over it. And then just shape it, the shape of the loaf tin. No kneading or anything. That's it. And place it into, lift it into the loaf tin. So just with the, your knuckles, press it down into the tin. And then taking a knife, make a deep X on it. And that's it ready to go into the oven. So I've set the oven at 180. And then she goes into the middle shelf. And I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes. And then I'll check it at 40 minutes. It should be, it should be quite almost ready at 40 minutes and that's it so another look at the recipe
and the method's pretty simple. And it makes a two pound loaf tin or an eight inch sandwich tin and a hundred and eighty degrees centigrade fan or two hundred degrees in an ordinary oven forty five to fifty minutes depends on your oven in the middle or the bottom shelf so that's uh, forty five minutes up and now I'm going to check it so what you do is take it out and you just you hear that hollow sound that means it's ready so now I'm just going to take it out of the tin and uh, turn it bottom up and put it back in for another five minutes so if I knock it in the bottom you can hear that it is cooked which just firms it up on the bottom to put it back into the oven so the five minutes are now up and that's it ready One wooden loaf. It's quite a big loaf. So normally what I would do, I, when it's cold, cut it in half and freeze half of it. Because there's only two of us and we'd never eat it all. And just to show you the recipe again. So that's the ingredients. 